Do you have something that you'd like to do, a goal or a desire that you'd like to achieve and you just don't have the motivation to do it? Hi, I'm Sandra Inman and if you want to stand confidently in your power, shine your light and thrive doing it the world, in the world, then hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss anything. In this video today, we're going to be doing some EFT tapping on the lack of motivation in order to get you motivated to do whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Now, this is motivation for something you want. This isn't about motivating yourself to do something you just don't like doing. <laughs> That's a whole different ball game and a whole lot of set of tricks that you need to do to motivate yourself. This is actually for something you want to do, something you've been dreaming of, maybe for a long time, maybe your whole life, that you still haven't got started. Maybe the book you were going to write that you haven't started writing or something that you wanted to do that you haven't started doing. Now in my other video, which I've done recently, which is called when you don't feel motivated and what it really means. And I'll put the link to that in the description field below. I told you basically the three big things that are happening underneath the surface and what the EFT, the tapping that we're going to do today is going to do is uncover some of those things. So I'll just quickly go through them. Number one was bullying, that you're bullying yourself into doing it and that's just not going to work because your inner rebel is going to come and rebel against that. Number two is self-doubt and number three is that there's something in that goal that's going to require you or you think it's going to require you to have to do something you don't really want to do or there's going to be something about it that's not safe. Something about it that's so uncomfortable that you just don't want to go there. So let's start tapping on the lack of motivation in order to get yourself motivated. And I'm going to be very general and use very, very general things that come up for me with my clients. Karate chop point. Even though I don't feel motivated. I want this, but I just don't feel motivated to do it. I'm just going to honor how I feel. Even though I just don't feel motivated to do this and I'm so sick of beating myself up about it. I'm okay. Even though I'm not motivated at all to do this. I just can't seem to get motivated. I'm just going to honor where I am right now. Okay. Between the eyebrows, I'm just not motivated to do this. I'm totally not motivated to do this. I mean, like I want it, oh, but all the work I'm going to have to do, it just seems so big, all the stuff I'm going to have to do to achieve it. And the time and the energy, I mean, is it worth it? I mean, is it going to work out anyway? I mean, what's the point of doing it if it's not going to work out anyway? What's the point of doing it if it's not going to work out? I mean, I have this thing that I want to do. But when I think about what I have to do to do it, I just don't want to do it. And what if I can't? No, I just don't feel I'm really good enough. There's all these people out there that are doing it. And what makes me think that I'm going to do it as well as them? You know, so many people fail at this. I'll probably just be another failure. Because I, I just don't think I feel good enough at doing it. I mean, I just don't feel like I can pull it off. I don't have what it takes. I'm not like those successful people. I don't know, I don't know whether it's even worth it. I just don't feel confident. And so many people fail at this. All the work and the effort I'd have to put in, all of the sacrifices I might have to make. And what are people gonna say? What are people gonna say if I fail? What are people gonna say? Oh, it just seems so hard, but I really want this. 
But it's almost like it's not really even safe to have it. The time, the energy, if I fail, the shame if I fail, the embarrassment if I fail. And what if I succeed? What happens if I succeed? Oh my gosh, what's going to happen if I succeed? There may even be some people who are going to be put out if I succeed. And they probably don't even believe that I can do it. Because I've been stalling for so long. It just seems such, such a big thing. But I want it. But I know just wanting it isn't going to make it happen. I have to take action. And I do want to take action. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this tapping, because I want to take action. I want to be motivated. Even if I could just get motivated about being motivated, <laughs> even if I could just get motivated about tapping on motivation, at least I'm starting to do something. Moving through all of these thoughts that are going on inside my head to do with why I can't do it, why it's not safe to do it, what's going to happen if I succeed, what's going to happen if I fail. All this is going on in my head. No wonder I'm not motivated. No wonder my energy is being taken up, this circus in my head. No wonder I've got no energy to do what it is that I want to do. I just want to be motivated. Even just motivated about being motivated. Motivate myself about being motivated would be good. What if I can just think of one thing that I could do? One thing that I could do after this tapping that would bring me closer to my goal or desire. One tiny, tiny little thing. One little thing. Maybe I could read an article. Maybe I could type a few paragraphs. Maybe I could watch something on YouTube. I'm sure there's one small thing I could do today to bring me closer to my goal. That wouldn't take up too much time and that I might actually enjoy doing. What can I do right now that's fun, that's towards my goal? What can I do right now that's fun? Okay, taking a deep breath in and letting it out. And focusing on what's something fun that you could do that gets you a little bit closer to your goal. It might have something to do with research. It might have something to do with learning. It might have something to do with actually doing your goal if your goal is to say to be a writer. I know so many people who want to write and they've been wanting it for years and they haven't been doing it. So that's why I'm using writing as an example. It's just a matter of taking the overwhelm away and taking it one step at a time. And that's something also that we're not really taught either, is how to take things one step at a time. And taking inspired action. So taking what you've done after you do your tapping and you've calmed your nervous system down, what do you feel inspired to do next? What do you feel inspired to do now? Go and do it. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below, like it and share it with your friends. And if you want to do some more tapping with me one-on-one, -on -one, then I offer a free clarity session and the link is, um, is my website and you'll find that in the description field below. I'm Sandra from freedomsuccesscoaching.com and I'll see you on the next video.